Hey everyone, this is Christian and welcome back to another tutorial with me. Uh, today we will be making this picture here. It's a uh, background kind of picture with the Twitter logo. And I just wanted to make the or show the effects you can do with the like I've done here, uh, the inner glow and inner shadow. Uh, this is the shadow and this is the glow. And it's uh, it has a really cool effect and it's really simple to make. So yeah, first off you will just I like to have a large picture because the line is uh, less pixeled. Um, so it looks cleaner and uh, just nicer. And first off we will unlock the layer by double click on it and press OK. Uh, then I'll press N to get the magic eraser tool down here. And then I'll just click on the white areas and it will take it away. You can uh, set the tolerance up here. Like that. And then I'll be making it uh, a bit smaller. I'll press Command T. And then I'm going to click and hold Alt and Shift to make it go to the center and keep the proportions. Um, like this, maybe. That's fine. And uh, we can crop the size of the picture like that. Just press C um, and drag and press Enter like that. Uh, let's make the background. Command Shift N to make a new layer. Press OK and drag it below. Just click and drag. And uh, let's make a background color like 25, 25, 20, 25. <laughs> and you'll get this light uh, dark gray color. I don't want it completely black. Uh, and when you have that color as the background color, uh, press Command Backspace and it will fill in the new layer. And we will also add a uh, filter from the filter gallery here. The film gray under artistic. Uh, have one on grain and the other on zero. Press OK. And you can see it has some noise on it. And yeah, that's the background. Well, let's make a shadow as well. Uh, Command Shift N to make another layer. Uh, then press G to get the um, gradient tool and has have white as the foreground. Then go up here and choose the white to transparent and start on the top. Hold shift to make it straight and drag down. Uh, this, this doesn't look very good so we're going to change the setting here to soft light and turn it down to about here maybe like that and that's the background now we'll be changing the color of the bird and just to get a darker color uh, press command U and drag the lightness down to let's say all the way down to black, press enter, and then press command U again and drag it up a bit to get the gray. Um, like that, that's fine. Zoom in a bit, um, like that, and then double click on the layer here with the bird and choose inner shadow. And as you can see here, you got the shadow going from the top going downwards and change the angle to 90 degrees so it's completely from the top and straight down uh, then choose a hundred percent opacity and distance around uh, 2 and size to mm, let's choose 1 and distance 3 3, <laughs> three. Um, then choose the inner glow. Choose white 
as the color and choose normal and the opacity you can just turn to uh, about 13 is fine uh, edge and the size should be 0 and this is all fine press OK um, actually I want to have it a bit lighter set up the opacity again like that and as you can see now it's white on the top here as well which I don't want I wanted to just have the white from here and on the wings and down so what I'm going to do is make a masking layer on this effect but to do that you have to right click on effects go down to create layers and the effects will appear in its own layer so here's the inner glow which is the white line and go down to this option here which is masking and you will get this uh, new thumbnail picture or another layer not layer thumbnail picture let's call it that uh, which is the masking uh, then I'm going to choose the uh, brush plus B and make sure you have this um, box here selected not this one and you will get black and white as colors down here so when you paint with black color you will see that the white color is uh, hiding and just paint over the parts that you don't want like this and that's fine and you can see the black uh, dot on this picture here and that's the black part that you painted in so if you uh, regret your decision you can just simply press X to switch the colors or the arrow arrows here to get the white and you can simply draw it back in like this and let's take it away again like that and we will be adding the grain filter on this bird as well which is filter and because we did that filter uh, earlier you can just press filter gallery here and it will apply the same effect on the bird as well and I don't like that color so let's um, make it a bit lighter maybe like that press OK and you can see the effect going here um, which I want but the white is a little too white so I'm going to choose fill on the uh, white uh, li the inner glow layer and just turn down fill like that so it's 14 and yeah here we go that's the simple tutorial on how to make this cool effect on the Twitter logo and I hope you enjoyed and t more tutorials will come so stay tuned bye